Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And here we are, we're back at Jarrow Road where we shall continue with the platforms. And um, this is where we lift off. I just cut this piece of MDF for the um, booking office and main entrance and what have you. And, uh, Ah, uh, something wrong here. Hold on a minute. Let's rewind. In my haste to do this MDF platform and uh, uh, building area, I was, uh, I've made a little bit of a muck up with it it's a little bit too narrow and um, the depth from here to here is too much as well so luckily for me I've cut another piece and we shall replace it back right now you can see the difference here and also I've made it wider reason being is once I've added the card infills to represent the edge of the platform the whole thing will move out by four millimeters and uh, I didn't allow for that when I cut this original one so that one will go in the bin and we can start afresh so here we are. This is correct. I've made that slightly shallower. Um, so check the photograph. Um, we'll come on to the photographs when we actually start the building of the station. But uh, I just wanted to be sure I got this one right because this one ties in all three platforms. One, two, three. Well, yeah. Glad I sorted out that um, error with the booking office, and the reason why I cut it small in the first place was what I'm about to do now. I've got some two mil card here cut into three mil strips, three mil by two mil. And what I'm going to do now is glue these on to the edge, top edge of the platform, like so. And because this platform and this platform will add 4mm to the width of the booking office, hence why I had to recut the booking office again. Not only that, I didn't like the shape of the front. So, let's glue these on. Right, so you get where I'm going with this. Um, I've stuck the first piece on and it's flush to the top and now we come to the interesting part where we have to put a mitre in for the slope so it's flush with the top again and then just mark down where the slope starts and then just come across slightly because we're going to put a little tiny mitre in there and then we'll just cut it and then glue this piece in. So we've got a little mitre there. Make sure it fits. Yep. Then we just glue it on. What I'll tend to do as well because you're butting one piece of card up against the other just put a little tiny bit of glue on the tip end as well this end will match up with this end here so for the final piece we have to match the mitre that's already there so it's the opposite 
make that and then just push that into the now. So for the final piece uh, we just mitre the end there to match what's already on the platform keeping it flush with the top of the ramp of the platform and then just marking it underneath easier said than done and then we cut that off see if it fits which it does but we still got a little bit of card hanging over there on the base of the platform so we've got to remove that as well so we'll just hold that in place and just mark it it's not a lot it's about a millimeter or so and then we just cut that off and then stick it on. Job done. Just make sure you've got a little piece of glue on the end so that when the mitres meet, the mitres actually glue together as well. There's a little bit of an overhang there, but once that glued is dry, we can um, just chamfer that off with a bit of sandpaper. Just go in like that, just gently, gently. So there you go, so that's that done. One down, one more to go. Just got to take the excess glue off. So now we move on to the little haven platform um, yeah this one's a little bit different um, reason being uh, this small section here which is about uh, four and a half inches long sits on a bridge and what I've done is I have filled this in with super glue because I want to cut lines across so it looks like wooden panelling and hopefully I shall do the same across here as well so this would represent a wooden platform at the end so let's give it a try see what happens so I'm just using a coping saw but if you've got a razor saw you could use that but I'm using a coping saw because I get a thicker line so I'm just uh, going across all the lines that I've just marked with a pencil and it seems to be working, it's not furring up, I was expecting MDF to fur up, especially with little score marks like this and it seems to be working Now if I didn't put the super glue in, I reckon that would have just furred up and it would have looked messy. So I just thought I'd show you that. So what I'll do now is, is I'll put super glue on this ramp. Um, across the top, that's harder so I might not uh, bother with that but we'll see. I'll try one and if it does start furring off then I'll put super glue onto that as well. So just using cheaper old super glue. Bear in mind this has already been treated with uh, PVA wood glue, so it's going to be twice as hard, I think. But super glue might not penetrate the PVA, but we'll see. Oh, it does. It does seem to be penetrating. 
ですねそしてゲミトラスティグルーステックにして Don't hang about too long with the glue stick, just in case. Right, so we'll let that dry, and uh, I shall continue with these. Yes, I think I've got the desired effect I've been looking for. Um, this face here is is, is quite quite hard, and I reckon I could have gone down a, another millimeter even further. But yeah, yeah, this top face is hard. It's probably where the MDF has been crushed. Um, but as for this, I'll just gotta wait for that dry. It's still a bit tacky with the super glue. All right, so the next thing I wanna do with the edges is use this model railway scenery edge. So right up to where the planking starts. So I shall glue these on and see what it looks like and then. Um, yes, it's different to the Jarrah Road agent because that's Medcar, but because the station is quite close to High Shields where it's already got this type of stonework on, I thought I'd make it roughly about the same. Um, yes, we shall see what this looks like. And that's what it looks like with its edging on. Um, you can imagine that being painted in a sandstone colour or a yorkstone colour and that will look quite uh, effective, quite neat I think. Now the other end where I've scribed in for the wooden, wooden um, um, faces there, what I might do is cut a thinner piece of card, uh, maybe one mil thick and then once this goes off just slightly chamfer that little bit away from the edge um, I think that's ready for scoring so I'll score that and then stick a thin piece of card on there so we've stuck the edging on now on the wooden bit and as you can see I've imprinted it with a pencil with a blunt pencil and uh, hopefully when that's painted you'll see uh, which might look like bolts which has bolted the edge on to the side of the uh, uh, wooden panelling it'll be interesting to see what that looks like when it's painted and this is what it looks like painted where I've pressed in with a pencil it looks like the bolts have really squashed into the uh, timbers along there so yeah that would work for me I think um, if you were doing something like a uh, a halt or something like that, this would be ideal for doing that because just um, putting the super glue on the edge and then scoring it, uh, but it hasn't worked out too well on the ramp. But uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So for the Yorkshire stones uh, that go on top of the edges on the platform um, you need to get yourself a piece of premium paper which is slightly thicker than standard paper which is ideal for scribing lines and leaving a print with the pen. So in this case it's 8mm strips we want and then we just scribe the line now I'm going to need loads of these because well as you know I've got three platforms that need these edges on so I'll just set that up for 8mm get a good quality pen and inscribe that home and now we go 10 mil the other way uh, so that would be two foot by two and a half foot slabs
So press them down really firmly with your pen. It's leaving impressions into the, in the paper. So hopefully those impressions will stay after it's been glued onto the platforms. So that we shall see. And now we cut these into strips uh, on the 8mm wide, not the 10mm wide, the 8mm wide. And uh, you'll see in a minute when we um, start gluing these to the platforms. So now we can start sticking these paper strips to the edges of the platforms. And this helps seal the card at the same time. Now you notice I've got a diagonal line here. That's because of the slope in the platform. So it looks like they've cut that stone to fit the platform. One thing you've got to make sure of is that they're nice and flush with the edge. Because you don't want to see the paper hanging over the edge. I mean, once this is all done and set, you can just take that off with a little bit of fine sandpaper. And because it's a, a narrow piece of paper, it will follow the curve without forcing it. But before you stick down any of the uh, slabs, just make sure that these edges are nice and smooth and flush. You don't want any bumps in the paperwork. See how the paper just follows the bend quite neatly. There we have it, one complete edge just requires painting. And at the other end, I've just brought it to a stop before it reaches the timber. Right, so now we've got the booking hall for um, Jarrah Road. All I'm doing is just paring off the edge, ready to take the big flagstones. 
because I'm a little bit proud there. Just, just some scalpel. Let's just take that off. And let's give that a little bit of a smooth. Now, as you can see on the edges there, uh, this is where the dowels are going to go for the platforms that come off the booking hall. Um, I've already pre-marked where the slabs are going to go. So I'll just case of gluing these on and then I've got to take a little tiny notch out there and there so that um, when the platforms come up against this it doesn't push the whole thing this way by a millimetre. So just glue that on and then I can put the platforms together. As you can see, you can see the little tiny two mil down, no three mil down, two mil in notches to take the edges of the platforms. And this is how it's looking so far. Uh, with the paper slabs as it were in place, you can still feel with your fingernail the imprints that the pen has left. So hopefully that's going to show up when we come to paint these. And we've got a locomotive here, just making sure that uh, it doesn't clash with the edge of the platform when it comes from point to point. I'm just gently moving it across. So I've set it up now, so that's almost ready for pinning together in here with some um, bamboo doweling, which I'll uh, go into in a minute. But before we can do any of that, I want to paint these edges because I won't be able to get underneath these edges once these are screwed and glued down to the baseboards. So that's uh, Jarrah Road. And more or less the same over here at Little Haven. We've just got to paint the underside of this lip along this edge. And you can still feel, yep, yeah, still feel the imprints of the pen. I do like the way that that uh, wood platform has turned out at the end. So that would be ideal for halts and things like that if you and things like that. There you go. So what I'll do now is I'll paint the edges in a sandstone colour and then we can put the platforms together and screw them down. I have used matte 94 for painting these stone edges and that's just the first coat. It'll probably have a second coat. Um, with that space there and the three suburban coaches, it's just about what will fit in this station. Um, yeah, so I think from now on we'll be focusing on Jarrah Road because this platform is virtually finished. So let's head over to Jarrah Road. Right, so we're almost ready to fit these bamboo dowel pins. Now what, what they are, they are barbecue skewer sticks. Um, they're quite robust and very, very strong. If you put in normal woodworking dowels under there, the chances are you could split the MDF. So what I'm going to, need to use is these quite thin and uh, once they're in there, glued in there with wood, PVA wood glue, they'll be strong. They're 60 millimeters long, so I've got my drill bit here, and I've got a bit of tape there marked at around 32 millimeters. That allows for uh, any glue that might be trapped in the in the base of the of the uh, dowel pins. So I shall now glue those together. As you can see, I've uh started to paint the platforms. Um, those dowels that I used have, have stuck the uh, platforms to the main 
entrance platform if you like quite firmly so I'm just painting the platform now a lightish grey using um, masonry paints uh, which is a sandstone colour and a grey with a little bit of white acrylic just to lighten it up uh, just using Wix home brand tester pots really um, as you can see you get a mixture of greys as you can see the, the left hand one is a different shade to the right hand one that's probably because it's already been painted once I'm trying not to get any on the on the sandstones because the sandstones have got to be painted again so this just uh, finishes off the platforms And it don't matter if one's lighter than the other because I've got to weather these platforms yet and I'm sure the weathering will give them an, an even even texture. Or I could just add a little bit of grey here. It is the same colour, it's just that it hasn't dried out yet. It dries darker. Right, I should carry on with this. Once it's done I'll just give it a light sanding. I have now screwed the platforms down so it's nice and firm. Uh, the paint is dry, I'll still need to rub it down because at the moment it's still a bit coarse we'll rub that down. Um, I've also wired in the sensor and if you're interested uh, in how they're wired up I did do a couple of videos a while back uh, regarding trying tech uh, signals and it's no different to a signal it wires up the same way I can either use it a standalone sensor or I can tie it in with other signals. And the way that I've got it wired up there, I think I might walk, uh, tie it in with other signals when I get the signal pack for the branch line. Right, um, you've probably noticed I've got a new uh, van there. It's a horse box, a Northeastern Railway horse box has been weathered it's come from TMC and they've got a sale on at the moment I think I paid 24 quid for that um, pre-weathered and it looks fabulous even the buffers I've got to clean the wheels on that at the moment because there's, there's still paint on the on the wheels you can hear it when you it's not it's not running freely Right, so the edges, the edges of the platforms will need um, um, a second coat and then weathering to make them individual because at the moment they all look the same and uh, so that will come along when I come to do the platforms. Uh, I've also made up the Jarrow Road name sign for the platform for the station that's made up so now we know this is going to be Jarrow Road and we've almost come to the end of this video but before we do you might want to check out A.D. Pullen's interview that he had with me about a month ago where I went into the or where, where I delved into the ins and whys of where I've built or why I built this railway. So that may be worth a check. That's Edie Pullen's interview with Tony Northeastern. You might find it interesting. Right, so 
I think that's all from me. Oh, these are at it again. I wonder what they're talking about now. Probably that they've got paint on their boots. Bye for now. Bye.